Okay, so let's do our whole bow arm from the frog. Let's do play a D. Yeah, wrist up, excellent. There you go. And play. Wrist comes down. There you go. And the first finger, that's it. Wrist comes back up. Yeah, one more time. No, well, let me actually, let me say one thing. I've seen some people, they kind of lose that pinky when they get out to the tip. That's all right. That's fine. Because remember, the pinky is really only important when we're back here at the frog. So if you lose it, that's okay. It comes back and it comes back to where it's supposed to be. Let's play that one more time. Nice high wrist. There you go. Play an A. Let's play an A string. Now, hold on. I'm going to align you just a little bit here. There we go. Okay. High wrist. Let's hear it. Mm hmm. A little close to the bridge. Keep coming. There we go. Okay. Up bow. All the way to the frog. Yes, 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 pinky, pinky, pinky. There you go, that's it. Now, these nice long bows are actually very hard to do. When we're playing, we generally don't use more than a few inches of the bow. If you're playing uh, some nice blazing bluegrass, you're only using about that much bow at a time. What we're doing is trying to get the feel for the long bow. If we're playing bluegrass, we're playing here. If we're playing some big dramatic symphony, maybe we're playing down here. If we're playing background, we're playing out here. We want to be able to use the whole length of the bow. And each section is different. It requires different feel, a different wrist position, different elbow position. We want to be able to play the whole length of the bow on every string.